Hey everyone. So I'm not really sure how to go about explaining this, but this is something I've been thinking about for a while. You know, we have the whole thing about simulation theory and <clears throat> consciousness, reality. Um, I'm going to try to do this simple and quick, but, and again, this video is not for everybody. Okay. This is for a very select few. <clears throat> Most people are probably not going to grasp what I'm going to try to show you. Okay, but this is about counter space. This is about illusionary reality and perception. Uh, some people, you know, I'll, I'll say this very simply. You know, when you walk around, when you're moving around, moving your point of perspective, you know, it, it appears the world is moving past you. That you're, uh, you're walking through it. It moves past you as you basically you're moving past it we're very taught i feel to move past things you know maybe in america or whatever <clears throat> but we don't really think you know are things moving as we walk like a conveyor belt like are we powering the, the motion movement and it appears to be our legs walking so when you walk around and you're not looking at your legs obviously um you got to remember, your perception now is on your legs. So it's not the world around you. Now you're looking at the ground and your legs or whatever. So every time you change your perception or point of perception, perspective, I guess is probably a better term, point of perspective, the world or anything that you're not looking at does not exist. Um, you can't prove it does anyway. <clears throat> Where it goes, I say, is counter space. And what that is, is it's an invisible space. It's a space behind what we see all around and things kind of slip in there and it might be real fine or it might be all around i don't know but this has to do with conserving energy in the universe so like let's just say that this is a bank okay <clears throat> when you're outside in the world there's a lot of activity going on okay cars people so there's a lot of information a lot of energy going on now the simulation, I'm going to use these terms, so just bear with me, all right? Now the simulation doesn't have to worry about what's going on inside the bank, okay? You're not in there. Let's just say there's no windows. You're not in there. So it doesn't have to worry about the computation energy to, to program and, and to have all these people doing what they're doing because you can't see. It's not a part of your reality, okay? It's all out here right now. So it saves the information by all this being what's going on in here is inside counter space, okay? It's in some place that is not accessible <clears throat> you can never access you can you can use it but you can't access it directly okay it's like indirect so as you walk into the bank you're pulling your reality with you with your perception in right and then i don't know if i can do this with one hand you get my idea you go inside the bank right so now that you're inside the bank the outside reality doesn't exist okay i'm just saying pretend there's no windows Okay, there's nothing for you to look out at, okay? Don't worry about that. Or you're so busy in the bank, you don't have time to look out the window, okay? So now all the energy that was out here goes into counter space and it gets pulled in here. So now the computation energy and activity, everything, uh, information is inside the bank where you're at. So all that energy is now being utilized and used inside the bank where you're at, okay? And now the outside of the bank and the outside world moved into counter space. Okay, and it saves information and energy this way because a simulation can't run everything simultaneously or it'll gunk up. I don't know. I'm not a coder. I'm not a, you know, it just, it'll shut down. There'll be glitch. I don't know. It's not good. There's always something going on with energy saving and balancing out. So you get that much, I hope. Every time you leave your house, your house goes into counter space. Your work goes into counter space. Everything that you're not looking at goes into counter space, goes off into some place you can't see, can't feel, you're not aware. I mean, you might be aware of it. You know, it's always there. Everything's stored there. It's just, I guess you have to be aware of what is stored there. So now, normally, when you walk around a building, okay, du -du 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 -du, you're like, oh, I'm walking around the building and I can't see that side anymore. Oh, look, I can't see that side now anymore. I can only I can see that side and I can see, oh, I can't see that side anymore, right? Oh, that side popped out, right? 
Okay, see how it popped out? I'm gonna go slow and show you guys what I'm talking about. But normally, we're, we go, oh, I'm walking around the building. And the building's back here, okay? Now, normally, you can't see the top of the building or the bottom of the building, obviously. So here's what's really going on, I think. When you walk around a building or any object, right? The counter space is the vantage point, okay? It's like the event horizon. It's a horizon fine line of what you can't see and what you can see. It's right there at that edge. It's like a mirage, okay? And then what happens is as you start to spin this, okay? As you start to walk around or spin, I'm going to show you. Let me see if I zoom in if it will help, okay? Here's what's going on, okay? This side is in counter space. You can't see it. Look at it. It's gone. It's in counter space. It's literally, excuse my language, fucking gone. It does not exist. It's now sliding out like an accordion, okay? It's almost like growing out. But as it does that, look at it. Saving energy on the other side by shrinking, okay? So this side is going to start shrinking as this part starts to grow. So now watch it in that way, okay? Let me come down more. You see how this whole side over here is starting to shrink? Look at that, it's only like, look at it, it's like the length of my finger long. Like that, it's like my whole finger. So it's shrinking, it's actually, tightening up it's folding in to that vantage point to that fine space little fine point and it's twisting twist look at that it's not twisting but it's it's slipping in to the horizon to the vantage point okay it literally slips out of your vision into the vantage point or into the counter space and now it's gone so this is all that exists right now, is this square. That's it. You're assuming there's a top. I mean, see, you already knew there was a top, so you're like, okay, that, that top is now, look at the top does the same thing too. It compacts, look at that. It compacts, 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 gone. It's gone. So that's what I think is going on. All the information right here is here, and this is why they say in like holograms or a holographic universe, is that you already know for this to be sound, for this to be what it is, well, I mean, you may not realize it's a cube, but or actually, you may not realize it's a freaking uh, rectangle. You might think it's a perfect cube. You might think it's the same. See, that's why you can't assume. Because when you go around, you might find out, oh, it's not really a cube. It's a, it's a rectangle. It's longer, okay? But at least you know enough that for this to be the size it is, because if you cut this in equal proportions, it's always going to break down in equal proportions and can be put back together in equal proportions, right? It's all mathematical and shit. So that's how every little piece makes up the whole. But you at least know from this that there has to be certain boundaries, certain rules, certain uh, guidelines for this to even be what it is, okay? Even the shadow kind of helps you to be aware that something's going on right there, all right? But anyways... So um, I think that's what's going on. And as you walk around, you know, like let's even use the wall right here. You see down my hallway, look at that shit, ready? It's gone, dude, okay? Watch this cabinet disappear, look at that. The wall literally slipped out from, you think it's behind it. You assume it's behind it, but really space time's infinite. You could, you could divide this up, you could divide every halfway point by halfway point forever and never get to there you could never walk out that door if you really want to look at how much space is here it's impossible so and the time you want to start breaking the numbers down into irrational numbers you know the numbers between numbers so look at this okay here's a perfect example okay look at that it just packs itself. Boom. Look at that. It's gone. It's in counter space. It's gone. It doesn't exist. You assume. I mean, you could, you could say, I remember. I, you might say you know, but you better hope you know. But look.
it pops out as you start moving your morphing reality. Look at that. When you move, look at it. It packs it away. And then the back of this wall, look at that. This whole wall is stretching out. You guys are probably like, this guy's crazy as hell. But I'm telling you, when you start looking at things a different direction, right? A different way. Look at that. Okay, look at it. It's going to fold... Everything is getting packed. You see the background? You see how the you see how the background's like moving? Looks like it's sliding back back there. It's because right now that whole room is literally getting tightly packed. It's getting tightly packed. Look at that. It's literally the whole thing. It's on a grid, dude. It's on the grid. The corners and lines are showing you the simple grid of the geometry of our reality and what's going on. So as you turn. It's something to do with these axis points. These, these, and they might be part of our brain. I'm not sure, but look at that. And if I go all the way, look at that. Look at that, all that. I got too much shit in the way. But it's, it's gone, dude. I mean, it's, look at, all you can see is this sliver. That's it, right? Now watch. It's just going to start sliding. This, this, as this slides, this goes back, okay?